How to add or update the schedule of assessment for students on the T level in education and early years. Once students are booked onto the OS of their choice, either early years educator or assistant teaching, and are ready to commence their second year of the T level, you'll be able to submit a schedule of assessment for that student via the portal. The moderator will use the schedule of assessment to plan their visits for assignment two of the OS. The schedule of assessment provides details of the student's industry placement, rank order and planned dates the assessor will observe the student for assignment two and the planned criteria to be observed. When you log into the portal, click on the moderation tab and then click schedule of assessment. You can then search by batch number, forename, surname, ULN or assessment series. Once you've searched using one of the fields here, you can select the student that you wish to add or update the schedule of assessment for. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this test learner. If you've not already added a schedule of assessment, you'll need to click the add schedule of assessment button. If you've already added a schedule of assessment and want to update this, you can click the update schedule of assessment button. For this demonstration, I'll add a new schedule of assessment. Students can only have one schedule of assessment, but can have multiple observation dates in each. Once you've added a schedule of assessment, click the drop down and you will see fields to enter placement information. You should input the selected student's placement name and address here. Next, you should input a rank order for the student. When determining the rank order for your students, several factors can be considered. For example, the student's performance in year one, the student's level two achievement profile, or their expected grades for the OS. Providers should rank students how they see fit. Numbers can be used more than once if needed. For example, if a cohort is large, you could rank one to 10 with several students at each number. Once this information is entered, you can click the add observation button to add the student's first planned observation. For this demonstration, I'm gonna show you what to select for both early years educator part one and for early years educator part two or assistant teaching. For early years educator part one, enter the observation date you or the assessor have planned to observe the student and then enter the assessor's name. Now you will see two boxes, criteria to be covered and structured observation. Because EYE part one doesn't include any structured observations, you do not need to select anything from this box. Just leave it unselected. Select the criteria you plan to observe in the criteria to be covered box. You need to hold down the control button to select multiple criteria. You should hold down the control button when clicking a criteria and release control when you want to scroll down. Hold control again when selecting the next criteria. If you release the control button by accident and click on a criteria, this deselects everything you've already selected. So ensure you hold down the control button when you're selecting. If you make a mistake, you can also unselect criteria by clicking it a second time while holding the control button. Alternatively, you can use the deselect all button to deselect all and start again. Once you've added everything, you can add another observation by clicking the add observation button. You can add multiple observations for EYE part one if needed. You should add the EYE part two observations onto the same schedule of assessment as every student can only have one schedule of assessment with all their observations on. To do this, just click add observation and start entering the same information as I just demonstrated. When entering an observation for EYE part two or assistant teaching, you'll be using the structured observation box rather than the criteria box. You do not need to select any criteria for EYE part two or assistant teaching. You only need to use the structured observation box and select the structured observation that you plan to observe. If you plan to observe more than one structured observation in one day, hold the control button and select multiple. You can also deselect all if you've made a mistake and want to start again. You can leave the criteria to be covered box unselected. You can add multiple observations for EYE part two or assistant teaching by clicking the add observation button. 
Once you've added in all of the observations for the selected student, tick the declaration at the bottom of the page and click confirm. This will save the schedule of assessment. If you want to go back and amend the schedule of assessment for that learner, you can just use the update schedule of assessment option instead of the add schedule of assessment option. Here you will see all of the information you've already input and you can edit this or add more observations.